want to turn this into this using these? <laughs> I got you. The problem with regular serving spoons like this is whenever your wife makes you a can of green beans for dinner and you go to scoop some onto your plate, you end up getting a ton of bean juice on there as well. And then the croutons that were on your plate get really soggy and it just ruins everybody's day. The solution, as you may already know, is this. A skimmer spoon. A strainer ladle. A spoon sieve. A spider. A strainer spoon. But what if you don't have a strainer spoon? Like what if some dude just went up and ran over your only one with his dumb car? You can't just go buy one. <laughs> In this economy, they'll cost you like seven whole buckaroonies on the Amazon. Here's a better option that just might save you money. Bullets. Ugh, sun's out now and uh, it's hot. Good thing I've got this holy tie-dye t-shirt to keep me nice and cool. If you know, you know. But if you don't and you want to find out how I made this holy tie-dye t-shirt, check out the description. You can find out there. Before we turn all these spoons into strainer spoons, and if you want to see, then please make sure to like and hit that subscribe button because this video wasn't cheap. That's what you call ironic. So what we have today is a large variety of spoons that we're gonna turn into strainer spoons. You might find spoons like this in your kitchen or on the discount shelf at the thrift store, but regardless, I'm gonna attach all these to the backs of the cinder blocks and then we're gonna shoot them. Simple as that. All right, let me show you our spoon lineup really quick. So this is what we got. All these spoons. I mean, honestly, who doesn't think shooting spoons is fun? Comment down below if there's anything you'd rather be doing on a brisk Friday morning like this. All right, so to start, we're gonna start with some nine mil. We've got some Freedom Munitions 124 grain full metal jacket. We're gonna start on the far left spoon because that's the biggest one. So we'll start there. And once that one looks good to go, we're gonna switch it up and then start shooting at the plastic spoon more towards the right, just right of center. With that we've got this Glock 19. Let's spoon some bullets. Uh, let's bullet some spoons! Uh, that, that spoon's gone. That, did it even work? We'll have to find that. Let's do the plastic spoon next. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those didn't work as expected. Make sure we're clear. Let's go take a look. No! <laughs> I just realized I didn't even start filming my, uh, my close-up camera, so we didn't even see that. Uh, okay, so here's what we got. This is our, uh, our uh, plastic spoon. I don't know if plastic's a good candidate for turning uh, spoons into strainer spoons with bullets. We've got, th there's some kind of carnage that ended up everywhere. We had a... S uh, ladies and gentlemen, I guess if you shoot a spoon, it turns into a fork. Oh, got him! That's not ours. Let's check behind the cinder blocks, see if we have any remains. We got part of this wooden spoon. I'm actually surprised that that didn't shatter. It looks like it was just broken clean off. Yeah, so as you can see, it just broke the metal part clean off. This, uh, this had a plastic handle. I thought I saw it fly somewhere over here. Hold on, I'm gonna try. No, oh, there it is. There it is. All right, here's what's left of our spoon. Dude, the autofocus on this thing's trash. Here's what's left of it. Doesn't look so good. It's not gonna, it'll, it'll, it'll strain, but that's because there's, it's, it's, it's only, uh, there's only holes in it, so, uh, okay. So this time, I've actually got my close camera recording. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six spoons left. So I'm gonna go for the bigger, the kind of the ladle next to the wooden spoon, and then I'm gonna try and see if I can hit one of the itty bitty little spoons, the furthest one on the right. So we'll have to take a look, but now I'm going for the really tiny one on the far right. Come on. I 
I'm gonna scoot up. We got it! It's gone! All right, I think we have our first usable strainer spoon. All right, well look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This could strain, look at that hole, that nice little hole, that could strain something. All right, so next we're gonna use some 5.56, five, and we're gonna try to make even smaller holes through the rest of the spoons. I honestly feel like this will be better for making strainer spoons, because not only is the bullet smaller, but it's going faster. So it'll zip through the spoons faster, and it's not as big, so it's not gonna take part of it with it. So I really think that this might actually be a better option. Once we run out of this, if there's anything left, we'll use a shotgun to poke some more holes. All right, so here's our 5.56. Five, five, the 5.56 five, five, round was way better for this. Look at all the holes we got through our shoehorn right there. And we even got a couple more holes through. Oh, this guy's jammed in there. We took apart this guy, he's done for. And we got the, the top part of that spoon. I really wanna get that tiny one, so I'm gonna load up a few more 5.56, five, see if I can get that tiny one, and then we'll go from there. We really wanna hit that small metal spoon to see if it makes a perfect little teaspoon, strainer spoon. I'm gonna try kneeling to see if that makes me a little bit more steady. And here we go. That's loud. Hold on, was that it? Oh, I got a little hole, but I still want to get the spoon. So, we'll move that back there. Keep trying. Did I get it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got it. Look at this. Here's what's left of our spoon. We have the one shot in there that we saw and then we just blew the top off. So this will strain your vegetables. Not only that, you won't even be able to eat them. You won't even pick any vegetables up. I can't find the head anywhere. Interesting. Huh. All right. All right, so for our remaining spoons, we've just got some regular old bird shot. We're gonna see if we can pepper them with the little itty bitty beads and make some really small holes to finish off our amazing strainer spoons. So we've just got our, our Mossberg 500, like always, one of, the, one of the best shotguns ever. Uh, I've got five shots, that's all the magazine holds. I don't imagine we need anything more than that. All right, let's go look. I don't think this really did anything. Well, it took out our, our wooden spoon. Head somewhere back there. Our little, uh, this is probably our best one, ladies and gentlemen. We got a nice little strainer spoon right here. We'll have to try that out. Ugh. This guy, uh, well, still kind of a strainer. And this guy got peppered. You can kind of see like some of the blast stuff right there, uh, but nothing. You know, this is a good life lesson. Sometimes things don't always go as planned, but when that happens, you just gotta, uh, what, uh, something inspirational. I'll put an inspirational quote up there for you. Uh, yeah, that's what happens when life doesn't go as planned. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was awesome. I honestly didn't expect it to go that way. I really thought that for the most part, all of the spoons would just have pretty straight holes through it, but I guess that's what science and hypothesizing and experimenting and testing ideas out is for. The wooden spoon was vaporized. We didn't really have much to do with the teeny spoons, but we did have a couple spoons that would work. So we've got we've got this spoon that's honestly, I, I, it's just a shoehorn. It's just a shoehorn. It's not even a spoon, it's a shoehorn. But this one worked really well. We got some good holes for straining. And then we've got our, our ladle. Uh, we got a big hole there, and that's about it. So, I don't know, will these work for straining a can of green beans? Well, I guess so. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching us turn regular spoons into the world's best strainer spoons. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, and as always, stay awesome, dude. 
You know, it's unfortunate that the spoons didn't work as well as we thought they would. But I've been thinking, what if bowls would work better? 